what have we got? Well, some beautiful X30s down here, all with a nice wood veneers on. We've got a nice selection of X20s. Actually a good trio here that can show you some different pickups. And uh, then we've got a really, really cool harp guitar here. One of our new uh, carbon weaves represented here. And uh, a couple of nice X7s up here. So let's jump into them. And I just wanted to show you one guitar that is one of the last ones that were coming out of the, the custom uh, side of things. And we still do a lot of custom guitars, but maybe just not this custom. And I'm very thankful for the customers over the years that have allowed me to make their dream guitars. So welcome to our shipping video. So what is our shipping video? Well, this is a, an opportunity that I take every week to share all the guitars that we build. Uh, we bring the, the week to an end by looking back at everything that we've done. And it's a great way for us as a company to kind of engage and connect with the guitars that we've made for you guys. And it's a great way for you guys to connect and see just all the different variety that we make here over the course of a week. So uh, if you've been watching our videos and you enjoy them uh, and you're watching on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe and then you'll get to see these on a regular basis. So this week I'd kind of like to tell you a little bit about what we've been doing over the last number of weeks. You, this is our second video uh, of shipping video since we started back on them again. And the reason that we hadn't been doing shipping videos for quite a while was we were really focusing on clearing out a lot of our backlog of, of custom work. And I thought during that process, it wasn't really a good idea to show you all the guitars that you no longer could buy. Um, because, you know, if you've been following Emerald, you'll know that I've stopped doing a lot of the more exotic custom work that I have been heavily involved in. Um, and really it's been kind of a sad thing in some ways, um, but it was becoming something that was just really hard for me to really be able to keep control of. As the business expands, it needed you know, more for me in different ways. And uh, I just have to put my, my self in a different direction. So I'm working more on design, designing our factory, uh, designing processes, training staff, focusing on quality, all the things that are really important for, uh, for a growing business. And I just wanted to show you one guitar that is one of the last ones that were coming out of the, the custom uh, side of things. And we still do a lot of custom guitars, but maybe just not this custom. But uh, I saw this guitar this morning and I thought, well, I should show you this. And, uh, and this is a good example of, of some of the things that we've been very, very proud to build over the last few years. And, uh, and this one is going out to Sven in Germany. And this guitar started life as an X20. And uh, I would have highly modified the neck. Uh, as you can see, this is a, a nine string guitar, so it's a much wider neck. Um, fully customized bridge. This bridge is a, it's a work of art and it's been designed and built specifically just for this one guitar. So, uh, so it's certainly a, a very involved process. It's, uh, you can see the neck, how it's been redesigned and built and, uh, and reshaped. Um, and it, it's a beautiful thing. And I love building this sort of thing. And really, I think this has been an area that I've used to research and develop a lot of our techniques over the years. And it's, uh, it's like our concept guitars. And, um, and I'm very thankful for the customers over the years that have allowed me to make their dream guitars. And, uh, you know, maybe a little bit further down the line, I'll get back to being able to make some of these sort of things. But, uh, but for now, they're not on the agenda. But Sven, thank you for commissioning this guitar and uh, you're gonna love it. It's a, it's a real beauty. Beautiful pickup system, beautiful acoustics, really, really cool guitar. So let's get into the main range of guitars this week. Uh, most of our guitars are actually going out to the USA or the UK. Actually, all of them are going out to USA and UK, except for that first one that was going to Germany. And uh, what have we got? Well, some beautiful X30s down here, all with our nice wood veneers on. We've got a nice selection of X20s. Actually a good trio here that can show you some different pickups. And uh, then we've got a really, really cool harp guitar here. One of our new uh, carbon weaves represented here. And uh, a couple of nice X7s up here. So let's jump into them. So the first one's going out to Mike in London. Mike's got one of our X7s. And uh, this is our X7 in the natural carbon. 
So this is the carbon without any color or anything put in. You'll see a lot of different colors as we move forward. But uh, this is just a natural carbon finish on here, which is really beautiful. It gives you that beautiful three-dimensional effect. It's, uh, it's got the GraphTech system, GraphTech Ghost system, which is six individual pickups that are all height uh, and intonatable. And uh, it's just a really, really cool system. Looks beautiful, functions really well, both acoustically and amplified. And uh, this is a great little guitar. So the X7 is our short scale um, guitar, smaller body, parlor size guitar with a 24 inch scale. And uh, just really nice for, you know, if you're traveling, it's a great travel guitar, but it's so much more than a travel guitar. This is, a, this is just a great parlor guitar that's great for traveling. Um, temperature and humidity isn't affected, but also it's just a nice compact size for that. Now the next one is going to Randall in California. So it's the, uh, it's the same instrument. This one has been selected with one of our Powell Ferro veneers and also with the, with the uh, little dot inlays here on the 12th fret, or, or sorry, on all the frets. Uh, and that's something we've just recently started doing and we added uh, those inlay options onto our 3D builder. Uh, back and sides on this one is finished with the black clear carbon. Uh, I think the combination works really well. And this is actually one of the things that our 3D builder has been fantastic for. Um, previously, we would probably have been telling everybody, you know, go with an amber back and sides is our most common. But with the builder, you get to look at the veneer and the colors in the veneers, and you can see them in conjunction with different color options on the back and sides. And it's just a really great tool to be able to, you know, see the guitar, see it turn and move, and uh, really helps you make a decision on what might look right with your guitar and color choices. So uh, I think that's a, probably a good example of that. So nice choices there, Randall. Next one is Anthony in Colorado. And uh, Anthony has gone for a nylon version of our X7. So a uh, very, very similar veneer actually to the previous one um, with a pal ferro. And, uh, but this is a nylon with a beautiful Celtic vine running up here with the leaves marking the different fret spacings. And the little Celtic knot here in the 12th fret. It's got that beautiful carved bridge at the top, or sorry, headstock. Um, it's got the, the fully intonatable bridge. And this is something kind of new for us. Um, we decided to experiment with this and, and see how it would work. You know, obviously our normal nylons are done with a regular saddle. And uh, because we've been doing these intonatable and adjustable bridges on our steel strings, we thought, well, we'll give it a go on a nylon and it really, really works well. It transfers the energy into the top, so it's acoustically works really well, and then amplified performance is fantastic. It, uh, it just gives a great string separation, and um, yeah, just really, really pleased with how that turned out. And actually another thing as well, because nylon guitars, there can be quite a big variation in how you might want to set that up depending on your playing style, so, uh, so the height adjustability is, is really, really useful on a nylon. Uh, back and sides on this is or carbon weave with the, uh, with the red thread through it. So it's like a little red metallic thread that they weave through the carbon, and uh, I think it looks fantastic. Um, it's a very subtle look, you know, if you're further away, you can't really even see it. It's just a hint of color, but when you get in close then you can really see how that stands out. Um, so I think that that works really nice with different colors of veneers. So that little subtle bit of red, I think, picks out some of the warmer, more reddish kind of colors in the veneer and, uh, and works really well. Uh, this one is equipped with both MIDI and piezo and, uh, and two volume controls here. And, uh, and I think that as a MIDI guitar will, will operate really well. So thanks for entrusting us to build that one, Anthony. Uh, now, here's something else really cool. Tom in Kansas. So this is a first as well for us. There's so many firsts, you're gonna see week after week, you're gonna see new things. And uh, this is the very first one of our new harp guitars going through with, uh, with this concept on the bridge as well. And I knew once we started using it on our six strings, we could use it right across the board. Uh, works really well on, the, on a harp guitar. Reason it works well on a harp guitar, now you don't necessarily need intonation adjustment here on a harp guitar. Uh, but what you do need is 
good string separation and string balance on your pickup and good separation between the sub basses and the, uh, the neck and this does it really well. So you've got 12 individual pickups all operating through, uh, through a double preamp system and uh, just operates so, so well. Really pleased with this. This one's also got MIDI output. So there's MIDI running here on the neck and uh, not on, this extra, on, the, on the subs. But, um, but this is gonna give an awful lot of opportunity for the customer to be able to get a lot of different sounds out of this guitar and set it up exactly how he likes. Beautiful piece of Royal Ebony veneer on top, black carbon back and sides and uh, the controls mounted on the side. So this is pretty much set up like our X10 system. So we kind of stolen the pickup system from the X10 and, and planted it on here. So, uh, nice one. Then Jeff in California. <sighs> My goodness, it's just one after the other. I keep getting more beautiful. Um, so this is one of our X10s. And uh, uh, this kind of shows how our X10 has developed. Um, you know, the X10 was the concept guitar that really forced us to look at pickup systems and, uh, and look at the, how we designed the bridge. Um, so obviously this one has the adjustable bridge. It's got the Crevo pickups, full uh, setup of the uh, controls on the side. It's got the MIDI output. So pickup wise, this is just a very, very versatile guitar. Looks wise, uh, yeah, beautiful piece of Clara Walnut. Uh, which goes really nice with the black carbon back and sides. And then check out the inlay. I just think the, the whole lot works really well. Um, now the inlay, should talk about a little bit, is, uh, is done using, um, it's actually metal powders and resins that we use to do this. And uh, this is uh, aluminum powder and, uh, that we put into a resin. So whenever we sand it, you've got that nice metallic look. And uh, it can look quite gray, but then the light just catches it and you just see that really nice metallic glow from it. So beautiful inlay. Now, next is uh, Al in South Carolina. And uh, he's gone for Candy Stripe Paduk. And uh, the Paduk is... Um, I think I'm pronouncing it right as Paduk. That's why I call it here. I call it Paduk. Um, beautiful red colors, very vibrant colors in this veneer. And uh, goes really well with the red on the, on the back and sides. Really, really stands out. And uh, same pickup system as on the previous one here with the Crevo, the piezos and the MIDI and all the side controls. And, uh, and then similar inlay design to that previous one except this one's done with the, with the gold, gold and silver. Just, uh, it really works well because you've got the, this sort of gold stripe that's coming down, running into the gold here and the gold in the center. So uh, the theme just ties together very nicely in this guitar. Now we've got Cameron in Connecticut. And Cam Cameron has uh, gone for X20, black carbon, and it is just, it's got that beautiful understated look, you know, it's um, sometimes less is more as well. You know, the, the, the guitars with all the detail and the inlays is beautiful, but I think just in its natural form really works well. Uh, I think it shows off as well our bridge beautifully. Um, the satin hand, uh, carved carbon bridge here, uh, I think that works so nice against the gloss carbon fiber. So it's carbon on carbon, but the different textures really make them stand out from each other. And the black carbon back and sides. X20 has been our best seller for many years. Last year we updated it a little bit. Uh, we changed and took the, uh, the heel away and give you that, uh, the extended neck access, added the little rib bevel here. And uh, just a couple of little subtle changes that uh, it's gone down so well and made our best seller even better. Robert, North Carolina, another so we've got South Carolina and North Carolina. Wow, we've got a good tour of the US going on. Um, so there's another X20, exact same guitar. Uh, the only difference in this one is just the red. And uh, so this is started off with, a, you know, the same carbon fiber as on the previous guitar. And then we put a transparent red, which gives that kind of like a stained glass window effect and uh, really stands out. Another one, same setup. 
and uh, the other bags element pickup system, uh, the X20, and um, this is carbon with an amber over the top. That's going to William in Oregon. And then we've got another one, I think pretty much exactly the same spec going to Shane in California. So again, exact same element, amber back, amber top and back and sides. And uh, yeah, on our X20. Then we've got Jeremy in uh, Surrey in England. Another one of the same guitar. So amber, I think is a really nice color if you're looking for, um, I guess a more earthy, woody kind of look, you know, it takes the carbon, uh, kind of tones it down a little bit when you put the amber over the top and gives you that nice warm glow to it with the amber. Now this one has been ordered without a pickup. Oh, sorry, no, actually, I got that wrong. It's got a K and K. So, uh, so you're gonna see pickup systems that we do here with, uh, with the K and K blended to a piezo, um, but this one is just the K and Ks, which is a really nice uh, contact magnet, um, sorry, not magnetic, contact microphone pickup. So it's like little sensors that are inside the guitar and just really pick up the whole body of the instrument. Very nice, uh, very simple system and uh, operates really well. Now, Matthew in Minnesota. So Matthew has got uh, another Paduk guitar, a Paduk X20. And, uh, and this one has uh, also the red back sides. I think red works really, really well with Paduk. And um, this one's got the Celtic knot inlay. So uh, it's done a white resin with a little bit of gold here just on the 12th fret. Really nice. All the way to Minnesota. Now, Robert in Pennsylvania. Robert has gone for Cocobolo. And uh, Cocobolo is another beautiful choice of a veneer. Um, I was actually just designing some guitars during the weekend and uh, we've got uh, with some really nice Cocobolo there that we're gonna be building some for stock in the, the very near future. Um, this uh, Cocobolo has the, the, the light wood stripe coming running down here, matched on the headstock. Some beautiful knot detailing and colors going on here. And then the amber back and sides. And it's got the element pickup system. Then we've got George in Washington. And um, George has got, uh, this is a Powell Ferro veneer on top. Amber back and sides on an X20. And this has got our GraphTech pickup system with the K&Ks. Now, so what this has got going on is uh, you've got the six individual pickups like I've talked about earlier. Uh, you've also got that then blended with a K&K pickup system. You've got two volume controls here that vol uh, adjust the volume of those two different pickups. And I think they work really well in conjunction with each other. The piezos just give you a really direct sound, just really strong, stable, powerful acoustic sound. But then whenever you add the K&Ks over the top, if you like a little bit more body, maybe a little bit more, um, you know, if you're doing percussive sound, it'll pick up the, the sound of tapping on the guitar, even just the, you know, movement on the strings, just kind of brings all that nuances back into it. So you get to just bend that in as much and as little as you want. So, uh, so having that ability to have both uh, just works really, really well. The K&K is still a passive pickup system and uh, the graph tech runs off a, off a uh, battery, which you can access here. Um, what I should also say about it is, uh, is this is either mono or stereo output. So if you put a mono cable in here, just everything comes out in one signal. But if you put a stereo cable in here, you can split those. So you could actually process uh, both those pick up, pickups differently, external from the guitar. So uh, that just kind of gives a little bit of extra um, versatility with the guitar. Uh, then we've got Deal in Texas. And Deal's got an X20 12 string. So check that out. I saw this coming through the other day and I just thought it was just beautiful. And um, I just, I love the amber, uh, over uh, the, the, the vintage amber over the quilted maple. And I think it works so well with the inlays, the gold inlay. I think just picks up on that glow of the, the whole thing. 
a really, really ornate guitar. But our X20s are much more than just uh, being an ornate guitar. Our 12 strings just function so well. Um, also, if you've been on our builder recently, you'll see that we've now added an X30 12 string, an X7 12 string, and a lefty X20 12 string. Um, so you can see them all there. So if you're a 12 string fan, we have now really catered for you. Uh, it was something we kind of, um, I struggled with a little bit. And uh, it was actually from trying to rationalize some of our designs that I was forced to maybe even go a bit deeper in some areas. Um, and maybe it's a, a signal for the future. So whenever I decided to stop a lot of the custom work, uh, one of the things that, I was, that would lead to us stopping was the things like the X30 12 string. And uh, a few people weren't happy about that idea. So, uh, so I decided actually maybe on the 12 strings, because we do so much on the 12 string world, that we should go a little bit deeper on 12 strings. So I made a mold for an X30 12 string, uh, the X7 and the lefty 12 string. So, uh, so now we have molds to be able to build these as standard guitars. So that's why they're now on our website because they, they are as standards and, uh, and they're just so, so good. So it's uh, so a really nice variety of 12 string guitars and I think just shows our commitment to being uh, the speciality company when, a 12, when it comes to 12 string guitars. And I don't say that lightly. Um, but I do believe that carbon fiber is the best way to build a 12-string guitar. It's, uh, it's so much stronger, so much more stable, and that's, you know, at the heart of it, strength and stability is a really, really important thing with a 12-string guitar. Because, you know, if you've had them, the enjoyment can go away with your 12-string your going out of tune or the neck warping or moving. And if you've lived with 12-string guitars, you'll know that that's a common thing. Uh, but with carbon, structurally, they work really well. But that's not enough. It's no good just having a guitar that sounds good or that, that plays well. It has to sound good. And I think 12-string carbon guitars just really have a great sound. I think the, um, the tonality of our carbon guitars just plays really well into that, uh, that tonal range of a 12-string guitar. So, uh, so something that we're, we're committed to going further and further on. And I'm glad that you guys pushed me to, to do that. That's not giving you an opportunity to push me on nine strings and all those other things that I know you're going to go email and go, ah, would Alistair build one more? No, 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 don't please. Um, but yeah, it might for fun stick in the messages. If I was to build a guitar, what I might want to build for you or you might want me to build for you. Now, here's a nice seven string. Another guitar that was, we started these off as a custom thing. And uh, I loved doing them so much that we added them into our production line quite a while ago. And uh, this is uh, our seven string fan fret. And uh, the seven string is the one guitar we do as standard with fan frets. And I've talked about it many times about just how well fan frets uh, work whenever you're going into lower tuning. So this is like a low B string here. And uh, fan fret just really helps give um, that extra definition on that uh, lower bass note here. Uh, so we've got 12, 27 inch scale and 25 and a half here and everything in between. Uh, it's got that fully intonatable and adjustable bridge. It's actually really fantastic for us when we're setting it up. Um, always get, just get an intonation point right on a fan fret. It's a little bit tricky. Uh, this makes that a little bit easier and uh, just functions really, really well. Um, black carbon fiber. I think uh, black far, car, carbon fiber on a, tw on a seven string fan fret is is a really good look. I used to have a, a picture of me holding one of these, a black seven string fan fret. It was my profile picture for a long time. So Paul in Texas. Now we're into the X30s. So these are our big jumbo body guitar. So, uh, so the X30s are really big, full size body, 17 inch cross, uh, but beautifully contoured. So it's, it's one of the largest jumbo guitars on the market, very deep this way as well. Uh, and to an extent where it's actually really hard for us to get a case that fits this guitar. But whenever you play it, you're gonna discover it's much smaller than it uh, actually looks. You see the contours here. So this is one thing that we've got across all our guitars, the, um, this asymmetrical side. And this is actually angled back here. It's not just like a 90 degree side like on most guitars. It angles back and in and that allows the guitar to sit very comfortably on your knee when you're playing seated. We've also got a very generous rib bevel here, just allows your body to, to rest into the guitar. The arm bevel, forearm bevel, 
and uh, the heel is cut away. So all those details together just make this a very playable um, jumbo guitar. Even though it's 12 fret to the body, you still got access right the way to the top fret here. So it's a, a very unique um, neck joint design that really, really works well across all our guitars. Uh, again, with the adjustable bridge, you're going to see a lot more of those uh, becoming very, very popular. And uh, this uh, beautiful piece of power ferro veneer. I love the two eyes here. It uh, just really, really works well. Amber back and sides. That's a nice X30. Going all the way to Texas. Now, Gareth in Aberdeenshire in Scotland. So, check that out. This is Royal Ebony. Uh, I've been a big, big fan of Royal Ebony. I love the, the contrast in colors. I love the patterns, the unique fingerprint on every one. I love this one that it's got a really nice quilted section on the center here. And a you know, wide pattern out here and a very, very narrow, fine detailed pattern down the center. Some beautiful detail. I don't know, Andres, you can get in close to that center stripe. But it's got some really, really nice detail in that wood. Cool headstock to match, and then black carbon back and sides. Uh, I normally recommend black carbon with uh, with the Royal Ebony. I just think that the blacks, because it's uh, the black lines in the wood are so jet black, it just works and blends into the, the black carbon fiber really well. And uh, also, you know, amber would work well with this one as well because you've got a lot of amber kind of tones going on here in the center. So, uh, so yeah, it just depends on the piece of veneer. And your choice. Now this one's going to Michael in Hawaii. I wish I was going to Hawaii. Wouldn't that be nice? Although the weather's getting a bit nicer here in Ireland at the moment. It's uh, summer's here. Um, but uh, yeah, Hawaii. I've never been, but a lot of my guitars have. So Michael has got an X30 fan fret. So, uh, so this has got a fan fret scale. Still with the intonatable bridge, which works great on a fan fret here, and a really nice piece of coco bolo. And this one is done with a red back and sides. And I think the red, why we would normally do amber, the red also works equally well. You know, you can see there's some red tones running through the veneer here, and, uh, and that picks up with the, uh, the reds and the carbon, and, uh, and works really good. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a 26 inch to 25 and a half, sorry, 26 inch to 25 inch scale, uh, which is kind of our standard when it comes to fan fret on a six string. And uh, what that does is it just gives you a bit more definition in the bass notes and a little bit less tension on the treble notes. So you get a little bit sweeter trebles and, uh, and just work, works and functions really well. Now it's been a bit of a marathon and uh, last one is going out to Paul in Torquay. And um, Paul has uh, asked for a, an X30, also in Coco Bolo. Wonderful piece of Coco Bolo here. Um, great knot detail and uh, pattern going on down in this area. Got the light st strip in the center. Amber back and sides. Gold hardware, which is uh, the gold tuners and the gold strap button here. And also, um, this was one of the last of our, our custom requests as well. And uh, this one has got um, a little bit of a different modification on the way I've carved the, uh, the bridge here. And uh, he wanted this little sort of volute going on here, uh, which was a tricky one, but a fun one to carve all the same. And uh, I think it works really well. Got the, the fret markers going on there as well, and the LR Bags element pickup system. So that's it for this week. Um, that's, uh, that's been a pretty exciting row of guitars. Uh, if you've watched it right the way through from start to finish, thank you. Uh, I really, really appreciate that. And uh, I appreciate the feedback that I get on a weekly basis. But hopefully you'll notice just a change, a uh, change in the things that are going through. And it's not that, you know, uh, we've become a boring company because we're doing, you know, not doing the nine strings anymore but we've become an exciting company for all the other things that we still are doing. You know, there's, uh, there's I, I think we've got over 20 different models listed now in our 3D builder, all those different choices. And uh, it's nice to be able to add in the, uh, the different carbon finishes in there now and adding in the veneers. 
uh, obviously the inlays, um, all the different pickup systems. We've gone really deep in all the different pickup systems we've been offering you guys. Uh, we spent a lot of time developing those over the winter and, and they're really, really uh, pleasing us and pleasing you guys, more importantly. So, uh, so that's it for this week. Uh, remember, stay connected to us. Keep looking out for our videos going out on our various channels. And uh, I think the shipping video normally goes out on a Friday, but you can find it any day of the week. And if you've enjoyed this one, go back into our archives and find some more. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.